So when you first start out the program, this is basically what you're going to see. Now, if you're like me, you probably don't want to see all these options. Um, while they are good, it basically is going to clutter up, especially when you have several aircraft in the same vicinity. Um, right now, we don't have any aircraft up on the server, um, but that's okay because this is just basically a video to show you how to remove some of these features and, and clean up the interface. Um, and you can set it how you like it. I'm just going to go through and set it up how I like it. Um, so uh, the first thing is, is you're going to have all your um, boxes here. Um, you're going to want to click and drag to bring them out. So that way you could view what is in um, the boxes. But um, when you're controlling aircraft, obviously, you know, how are you going to see what you need to see with this giant box in the way? So the first thing I'm going to want to do is take the ones that I'm not going to be using like for instance, this option, which is setting up your map and, and how it looks. You know, I'm not gonna be using that during a mission. I'm gonna set everything up beforehand. So what I'm gonna wanna do is put it up here in the taskbar. So that way I still have it available, but it's it's out of, out of sight, out of mind in the meantime. So now I can go to this option do what I need to change and then move back and I've got a cleaner map. So the map caucuses one is definitely one that you're going to want up or the map options, excuse me, not caucuses, but options. Um, objects you're going to want to stay out and you're going to want to set that up. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. The radio that's going to be when you enter the server, that's going to be a first one time setup. So you're going to want to take that, make that a tab as well, so you can set it up, and then out of sight, out of mind. Draw, out of sight, out of mind, one time set up, and then you're good to go. So you're going to want to make that one a tab. Bra, you're going to be using that throughout the, the mission, so you're going to want to leave that out. And properties. Uh, that one you're going to want to want to leave out as well. So with these three tabs remaining out, the rest of them up and out of the way, it's going to make it make it a lot better. So the first thing I'm going to do is come into uh, my map options and change a few things around. Now me. I don't really care to have the the, the urban areas, the cities, um, visible. You know that's a personal preference thing. It might be good, good, good to reference, but I, I kind of find I never really need to. So the first thing I'm going to do is move that all the way down, and now they're no longer showing. Um, lakes and rivers. I actually do use this as a a reference point. Um, you know you've got this red line here, for instance, is your border map. Um, the last mission we did, we were not wanting to violate Turkish airspace, so having this, um, you know, really helped me to steer guys away from that border, um, and it helped tremendously. So, you know, like I said, personal preference, it's what you want to do. Um, the border is frontiers. Um, and then lakes and rivers, personal preference, what you want. Relief, I go ahead and move that all the way down. Roads is pretty good um, if you're doing, you know, an escort mission and you need to uh, guide your uh, cast guys onto a target, you need to steer them in the direction of a road. You know, if you have a mission where the convoy is moving down the road, it might be good. I'm going to go ahead and move it down for for what we're doing today. Um, and then now uh, it's it's a lot cleaner. Um, 
the next thing I'm going to want to do is you've got the threat rings, which is very, very helpful. Um, however, I tend to notice it's, you know, what you want during the mission. So if, for instance, the way this map is right now, the white are the friendlies, the red are the hostile. Um, you know, if you're doing a mission over here, it's just cluttering your area up. So you're going to want to go to options, then you got the defined opacity of circles. And you can move all those all the way down. And voila. And then now you've got a cleaner, much cleaner interface.